Okay, hello again, everybody. This is Jacqueline with the Book of Eris. Jacqueline, thank you so much for tuning in. I just wanted to share my personal wonderful change with you guys. Uh, this has brought me so much joy on today. Uh, in a couple of days, I'm going to be 59 years old. And um, this is a time of change for me. So uh, I'm so glad that this came at such a time as this. Let me tell you about um, what's been going on with me. So I've been beat up pretty bad in life. I feel that I have. I feel that I've been hated. I feel that I've been grossly um, disrespected, dishonored. Uh, I feel that I've been dishonored in my home, disrespected. I feel that I've been disrespected amongst my family, my relatives. I feel that I've been uh, disrespected here in my town, in the community. I've been told that everyone hates me. I just been told that again today and I'm getting so tired of being told I'm hated and I'm evil and I'm trifling and, and that was beat. I was getting beat up by that. I was getting beat up by those bad words. Those are horrible, bad words that people can say to really hurt and harm someone because I just don't go around telling people I hate them and I'm I want to harm you and and um you know you're evil and that's just horrible. And so I started thinking, of course, is this true? Uh well, to each his own. Let let the next man decide, but I say no cuz I know my heart and God knows my heart. Anyways, but I started asking myself, well, Lord, what is this all about? Am, am I really a horrible person? I can't be a horrible person all of a sudden because you'd have let me know by now that I'm that bad of a person. But what is it, Lord? What is it that I'm going through? So after reading some scriptures, I read the... Uh, I really focus on the scriptures, and I'm sorry I don't have numbers right here. You guys can do your research yourselves. But uh, the Bible tells us that um, a prophet is without honor in his hometown, in his home, amongst his uh, kin, and even in his own country. And so I have been running away from that word prophet because... Um, I don't want to be too puffed up or feel that I'm so much. I'm just going to keep it real. So, but I figure if a prophet isn't respected, I ain't going to be respected either. So I do, um, God has given me biblical prophecy and I have written a book on Bible prophecy. So uh, whether I'm a prophet or not, uh, I still am disrespected in my home, in my town, in my country and amongst my family. I mean, it is my family who has said, everybody hates you. So I was really torn up about that, especially being that, you know, being that it's right around my birthday and and I'm not finding any relief. So um, I said, I need to figure out what this is all about. So I went through the scriptures and I found uh, all the scriptures that were talking about the word honor. And um, this is, in gathering scriptures, this is my conclusion. They are unable to honor me. The Bible talks about people being unable to honor people. Because God will not allow it. Oh, so he's the culprit. But of course he is. Uh, everything belongs to God. Honor belongs to God. He can give it to whomever he pleases. But he said, a prophet is not without honor anywhere, anywhere, except in his home, his town, amongst his kin. And I tried to avoid this one, but even in his country. 
And you know what? I guess it's my decision about whether I want to continue living without honor. I guess that would be my decision. I'm waiting for God to pull me and take me away. Oh, Calgon. But whatever happened to me making my decision, God gave me the scriptures. He told me I'm without honor. I'm going to be disrespected. So why am I here fighting this disrespect? Why would I stay here in this home with my relatives, amongst relatives? I looked at my three-year-old today and I said, nope. I kissed her. I said, now you get away. You a relative. <laughs> Anyways, more about this. Okay. I wrote... Okay, I'm going to start all over. They are unable to honor me because God will not allow it. God, that's scripture. God will not allow it. He said they're not going to. Of course, he's not going to go against his word. He's not going to allow them to respect me. But when I leave family, home, and country, yes, even country, and town, because that was in one of the scriptures too, town, I will be honored. Why will I be honored? Because the Bible says they'll, I'll be honored everywhere except those other places. And that includes my country. I will be honored and they will see it and be grieved. And I think it went on to say, and there will be gnashing of teeth. Um, not that I need anybody's teeth to gnash. But it would be nice to know that some people's teeth gnashed over me. <laughs> Anyways, so that's my personal wonderful change. My personal wonderful change is that I started packing and I am ready to go. I'm ready to get out of my home. I'm ready to get out of my town. I'm ready to get away from my relatives. And I'm even open to getting away from my country. And the, the scripture says, I will be honored. Okay, so I'm going to be honored. And they will see it. Okay, so I want to give them something to look at. So the sky is the limit. So I've already sent my resume to Tyler Perry Studios because, I mean, if they're going to see something, I want to give them something to see, right? Um, and be grieved. I've already prayed, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. So hopefully they don't have to be grieved too much, but at least if they could see it, that would be nice. <laughs> Anyways, so that's my personal wonderful change. I have sacrificed everything. I have clothes out in my car. I'm about to give to the Po and I'm about to give away a bunch of my stuff. I'm about to get ready and I'm about to get in position for what the Lord has for me. And I will be honored and they're going to see it and grieve. <laughs>